Hey guys, I thought I would just quickly show off a uh, Final Cut Pro quick tip. Uh, this is just very simply to show you how to maximise the new uh, YouTube um, HD render settings to allow you to watch videos in 720p high definition. So here I have just one of my one of my films. This is one of my short films. I made it for a sci-fi festival um, in 48 hours. I'm quite happy with it. I like this film quite a lot, uh, which is good for me because I don't usually like my my own short film work. But anyway, I'm digressing to the point. As with any Final Cut Pro render, you set your in and out points in. Let's put the in point here for this one, and the out point to be here. Just just for argument's sake, just for this uh, this quick tip. Then you go to export, and then using QuickTime conversion, click here. And this method applies to any app that uses QuickTime. Uh, export methods, so this applies to ScreenFlow, to iMovie, to everything. This is this is the universal QuickTime export method. Um, so just just call it what you want. Uh, let's call this one tutorial like that. And you go options, uncheck prepare for internet streaming. That's not necessary. We'll do sound first. Go to sound. Settings, AAC, left and right channels, quality, best, OK. Then we go to the video part. This is the most important part where you're going to get your, your HD in its size. Go down to 1280 by 720 HD. Click OK. Settings. And then choose the frame rate which applies to you. So I'm in PAL land, so that's 25p and set the keyframes to 30 frames per second make sure that's set to best quality and multi-pass render and then restrict this to I usually say a good bet is 4000 kilobits per second click OK now if your video is interlaced and this applies to most video cameras today if you're shooting on tape, mini DV tape most, most of the time it will be interlaced if you don't know look it up in your manual or just as a safe bet, always you do size, filter, deinterlace source video. And if you're changing the aspect ratio, if you don't know what that means, leave this box alone. But if you are changing the aspect ratio, use this here to letterbox it. So say you're putting a 16-9 image into a 4-3 image, you can squash it down so it won't be stretched. Um, but I'm not going to check this in this instance because I'm exporting in 16-9 and everything's fine. OK, then hit OK. I'm not going to do that now because obviously I am doing some screen flow recording so I'm actually going to render for you but that will produce a file then you can upload to YouTube and it will work and it will be HD and you'll be following the modern way have fun guys, hope it helps